Hello and welcome to video 3, Website Structure and Landing Page Optimization. In this video we'll take a look at what happens when users start finding your website. After all, it's ok having a page 1 Google listing for a relevant keyword, but it's another story altogether when your website isn't converting those valuable leads into sales or inquiries. We will talk about the process you must go through for deciding on the content for your landing pages and how you will set up your website to move your prospects towards your website goals. Ultimately, conversions, be they sales or inquiries, are the name of the game. So it's crucial that you do everything that you can to make conversions happen as frequently as possible. First off, before we can optimise a landing page or decide on a navigation structure, we need to look at what marketers call the sales and marketing funnel. This is the process that moves your customers towards a defined goal. These goals should have been determined at the outset of the project by your business team and are usually things like making sales or generating inquiries. A properly structured set of pages will funnel your visitors to your required goals and your website pages will be optimised to encourage the conversions to happen. Let's take a look at the Brooks Digital website example. You can see from the home page that the primary goal of the site is to generate inquiries. The secondary goal is to acquire the email address of the visitor and the third to keep researchers on the website by providing information. These goals are likely to differ from business to business but generally a company homepage is not the best place to start optimising since they usually have to promote multiple services within a business. When we undertook our SEO we researched the keywords and set up a selection of landing pages. Each landing page is totally relevant to the keyword that we optimised for and assumes that a user is in researching mode. To encourage researchers to contact us we have included a special offer. And for those that do not wish to contact us, in exchange for their email address we provide a valuable video e-course. This type of offer opens up the opportunity for us to interact with interested individuals by sending them more relevant information and offers over time. At this point it's a good idea to consider the navigation of your website and how it flows with your sales and marketing funnel in mind. As discussed in the previous video, the keywords determine the website sections and the pages within each section. Each keyword has a different attribute, either it is buying or researching. You need your research keyword pages to have links to buying pages and also to an email sign up form as a secondary goal. Setting up a logical flow through the website is an important step and ensures your visitors are being presented with relevant information and clear calls to take action at every stage. Here are a few tips on how to set up a web page that will convert visitors into inquiries or sales. Your web page should be relevant to the keywords that allowed it to be found. Clarity. It should be immediately apparent to the visitor what the page is about. Visible. Keep your important information and calls to action above the page fold so the user does not have to scroll down. Use a strong headline that connects with your visitor emotionally and includes your keyword. It should also include the major benefits of your product or service. Have a clear and powerful call to action above the page fold. This could be a big green sign up for our newsletter button. Use some bullet points at the top of the page to summarise to the user what the web page is all about. Use a hero shot on your landing page. This is an image of your product or service. A human face looking straight out is known to keep people reading and can form an emotional connection with your visitors. Keep your text readable. Use a browser safe font set at 10 to 12 points. Use well contrasting colours. Black or darker shades of blue or grey on white is preferable. Keep your paragraphs short and columns to two maximum. Use language that identifies with your target customer. Remember, nobody ever got looked down upon for keeping it simple. 
Fancy business speak and industry jargon does not impress anybody except maybe the author. Try to use primary colours in your design as they are the colours that are most soothing to the eye. Use captions under your images with keywords wherever possible. Where possible, use standard blue underlined links as users are accustomed to this convention. However, if you cannot, due to design constraints, at least have an obvious consistent link style throughout your website. A full tutorial on how to write good copy is beyond the scope of this video. However, we have recommended some good resources on our website. Clearly though, your copy should be selling your products or services at every step of the way. A review is still a sales pitch, as is a testimonial or a product features list. With this in mind, your copy should be guiding your visitor to one of your desired outcomes as smoothly as possible. You should prioritise your page copy elements as follows. First comes the headline, then the product image, then the sales copy. The calls to action should be clearly visible throughout. Your website should look professional as this promotes trust to visitors. A badly put together design will put visitors off very quickly and negate all the hard work you've put in to the other critical factors. Where possible include testimonials, industry awards, affiliations or associations that you belong to to further reinforce your position as a reputable business. That concludes this video. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in video 4, Web 2.0 Marketing.